guys. Bill Winkleman here with the Erie County Catfish Club. Got a great show for you again this week. Had an opportunity to get out on Lake LaBeouf, do some fishing there. Didn't have a whole lot of success out there yet again. Uh, we were going for pike, muskie, walleye. Uh, we went for some cats as well. Uh, we even were going for some bass, bluegill, anything we could get to be biting. And we were just literally throwing everything we had at it. Um, had the opportunity to talk to a lot of people who were also out that particular day. Same scenario with them not catching anything. Um, and I just hope that this is raising a lot more awareness to exactly what it is that we're trying to accomplish here um, with restocking these inland waters. Is these once great and fabulous fishing locations are now just barren wastelands of a memory of what they used to be and I don't know about you guys but I ain't settling for that and I'm trying to do something about it and there's a lot of you that are trying to do something about it with us and you know it, it's it, it's gonna take a lot guys to do this and do it right and I'm not gonna sit here and blow smoke up anybody's ass pardon my French but it's one thing to say that you want to do it and then it's another thing to get behind it and actually do it. Do what you say you're going to do. I'm doing what I say I'm going to do. But there's only so much that I can do. And this is a team effort. So we got to pull together Erie County. Help me to help you guys, to help yourselves, to help everybody in all of Erie County. And those who wish to vacation here to Erie County to do some great fishing too. You know. This just doesn't benefit the Erie County Catfish Club and its members. It benefits all of Erie County. It benefits you and our kids who are the future. Without them, we're not going to have a future for fishing. And they're not going to have a future for fishing. So, please consider going to our website. Link is right here in, the, in that. We also have it in the description as well. Um, feel free, you can make a donation on our website uh, you, via PayPal. Uh, it's the securest and safest way to pay for things. Um, if you don't have PayPal, we do also have um, our GoFundMe drive, which you can use any major credit card uh, to go ahead and just go on to our GoFundMe page and make a donation there. Um, you can also, if either of those options don't work best for you, remember you can also write a check out. Just make it out to the Erie County Catfish Club and uh, contact me and we can make arrangements and you know we got to do this guys this is something we got to do you know it's not just enough to say I support it anymore it's not just enough to say yeah that's a great idea you gotta do it you gotta get out there and do it talkers talk walkers walk I'm a walker how about you again I really hope you guys enjoy this week's show um, Remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Like our videos. Give them a big thumbs up. Um, and be sure to visit our other sponsors and everything. All our sponsors are located uh, with their website links in the description of the video. Uh, so be sure to check them guys out. And remember, members of the Erie County Catfish Club get discounts with Ski Spinner. So you guys need some new lures? Contact Skis. Contact me as well. I'll give you the promotional code so you can get your discount. Remember, guys, we all pull together. Great things are going to happen, and they're going to happen fast. So let's keep everything going great, and stay tuned. Hope you enjoy the show. Hey, guys. Bill Winkleman here with the Erie County Catfish Club. If you're looking to go catfishing, you need a good bait. And let me tell you, you can look no further than Magic Bait. Dot com. They got a wide variety of products. All of them are phenomenal and they're proven to work. I'll show you. In every single show we do when we go out fishing, every catfish we catch is with magic bait. Proven and successful. Why? Because they work. You want to know why they work? Because they stink. Absolutely stink. They smell so damn terrible, it's pathetic, but the catfish love it. You may not like the stink of it on your hands, 
but the catfish love it. America's favorite bait, guys. Magicbait.com. Go get you some. First one of the day. Hey guys, Bill Winkleman here with the Erie County Catfish Club. Are you looking to get some vinyl lettering done? Are you looking to maybe get some banners made up? Need some magnetic signs for your truck or your car for your business? You just want to advertise something? Need some yard signs maybe? Some stickers you want to have made up as giveaways? I support my local farmers. Contact Farmers Vinyl Printing, located right here in Waterford, Pennsylvania. Numbers right here. Give them a call and see what they can do for you. Prices are really reasonable, and I tell you what, they do a great job, and you won't be disappointed. And remember, Farmers Vinyl Printing, Waterford, Pennsylvania. Numbers right here on the screen. Go ahead and give them a call. And as always, guys, remember, Farmers, dun 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 dun. I think so. This pole right here. Holy hell! Oh my god! Oh. Oh. Go ahead, get it. Holy hell! Holy crap! 
crap, you're gonna need the net for that. Grab the net. Wow! No! That's a koi! Well, let that be a lesson to everybody. Always make sure that your batteries are fully charged or you have fresh batteries in the camera when you're recording live. That fish, unfortunately, we found out, did not get all onto video. Um, I did get a measurement on it. It was 28 inches. Um, and it was a good, good, heavy, heavy fish. I It, it was tough just holding them up there because he was so squirmy. But, uh... Yeah, so let that be a reminder, guys. Always make sure you got fresh batteries so you don't miss those really important shots. Hey, guys, need to correct myself on one thing. Um, that big fish that um, I showed earlier, um, that was actually indeed a carp. Um, I was actually misinformed. Um, I had suspicion that it was a carp due to the size of it. I've never seen a koi get that big. Um, but it's not unheard of but I did uh, we did talk to the owners and we did a little bit of uh, finding out that it was indeed an actual carp so we do now know that there's some uh, carp in here and as you can see fish are quite active um, good rig to use if you're gonna go for carp um, they really like the earthworms uh, Berkeley Power Bait, they have a little jar you can buy of uh, little earthworms. Um, set it up on your hook and just like you almost like you would just through a catfish line. Toss it out there. Don't have to use a bobber. Just keep an eye on it and as soon as you start seeing that line get real tight, you know, give it a little tug. Next thing you know, you're going to be bringing in your carp yourself. Hey guys. Bill Winkleman here with the Erie County Catfish Club. You looking for a new fillet knife? Maybe a new saute pan? Look no further. A. Kaplan, out in Waterford, Pennsylvania. Go visit them. They've got everything you need. If you cook, stop and look. Go bullhead. It's a bark piece. Now they're coming. Bark, 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 bark. You gonna bark for me? Huh? You gonna bark for me, Kitty? Wasn't so bad, was it? No bullhead. Cute little guy. Huh? You gonna bark? You gonna bark for all the viewers at home? Go have bark for him.
Well, I guess he's going to be shy and he's not going to bark for you now. We're going to go ahead and put this little guy back. Right over that way. Another little kitty. One thing to always be aware of, guys, when you're out fishing for catfish are the snapping turtles. Huh? Grab the net, please. You got to be aware that they're going to take the stink bait. They happen to go after the same types of bait. And they're not exactly very friendly either. <clears throat> Typically, I would recommend cutting your losses so you don't have to deal with these little menaces too often. However, I can see my hook is buried down deep in him, so I'm going to have to cut it. I don't know that I can get in there and try and get that out of there without maybe possibly losing a finger. And quite frankly, guys, it ain't worth it. So just be careful when you're out fishing for catfish. You might get one of these guys. Bill Winkleman here with the Erie County Catfish Club. You looking for a new place to have some breakfast? Maybe a little bit of brunch? Maybe some lunch? Betty's Diner, right on Main Street in Waterford, Pennsylvania. You want some good breakfast? Stop in and they'll get it with you for you with a smile. Remember, Betty's Diner, Waterford, Pennsylvania. Stop in and say hi, Betty. Hey, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's show. Um... As always, um, I do my very solemn best to try to get the shows done um, in a timely manner. Sometimes life intercedes and not quite able to do that. It all comes as part of being a parent. Um, but, you know, we're a little bit behind on this week's show, so we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up, and we're going to go ahead and get out and do some more fishing this week. Hopefully we'll get uh, this week's show on schedule for this week, and it won't be behind like this show is. Um, other than that, guys, again, I really hope you enjoyed the show. Remember, if you have any questions, comments, you know, be sure leave them in the down in the comment section below, and we'll respond back as quick as possible. Um, remember, visit us on Facebook, like us on Facebook if you haven't already done so. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube show. Um, if you guys want to be a guest and go out fishing sometime, be more than happy to have you come more the merrier. And remember guys, as always, keep the lines tight and keep fishing.